Hey there, welcome back to the channel. This is the start of a new series called Rust Librarian, where I would like to focus three to five minutes and discuss some useful crates that exist in Rust. Today's crate was created by a company or the group called Ferris System. They've created a lot of extremely useful crates, but the one we are starting with is Fliplink. So let's begin. According to the Fliplink documentation, it is a zero cost stack overflow protection to your embedded programs. Sounds too good to be true, so let's dive in. As we see, the documentation is fairly brief, but I give it 5 out of 5. It really explains the problem, gives a beautiful example and a situation of what would happen. Here we have a code where the Fibonacci just keeps expanding, keeps expanding. And what could potentially happen is that our stack grows downwards and it starts to collide with our BSS and data and gradually overrides them. This is absolutely unwanted behavior. And there are probably two ways to solve this problem. Option one is to write some sort of a checker that makes sure that this situation does not happen. And that seems to me as a non-trivial problem and most likely requires a non-trivial solution. However, the authors of this library proposed flipping. So we are rotating the order of the BSS and data and instead of keeping it down the stack, let's start with it. So we can freely expand our stack until we hit the end of our memory. And if we hit it or we try to go beyond it, the Cortex M will handle it by giving us a hard fault. So that is our protection. So what is the BSS? BSS are our uninitialized declared only variables and data are our initialized variables such as const. According to installation and way to use it, that seems extremely easy because all we have to do is install the flip link and change the linker from the Rust LLD to flip link. Seems really easy. So why don't we give it a try? So I have here some Arctic code. So let's just give it cargo build. Cool. Let's cargo install flip link. As per documentation, we go to our conf dot tom and we just have to add one line. Save it. Let's cargo build again. Wow, that was absolutely painless experience to introduce Flipling. And uh, I hope you give it a try. I hope you will start using this library in your future projects just to avoid those weird errors and spending, spending time debugging. So that would be all for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to press that like button, subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, if you know a crate that it's really worth knowing, please leave the comment down in the comment section. As I said, that's all for today. Thank you again, and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye.